My name is Elijah Ontiveros. My presentation is on the macroeconomist James Tobin. This is Econ 2301, Spring Semester 2015. James Tobin is a man known for being the most distinguished Keynesian economist in America. He decided to study economics because to him it was difficult and he liked a good challenge. Tobin also found economics to be quite interesting, along with it being a source of hope for others. He viewed economics as a source of hope by finding ways to create jobs and by reforming the economy into a stronger economy through tough times such as the Great Depression. His primary goals as an economist were to go more into depth on the studies of macroeconomics and monetary theory. James Tobin was born March 5th, 1918 in Champaign, Illinois. His father, Louis Michael Tobin, was a journalist at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Margaret Edgerton was his mother, who was working as a social worker. Tobin went to his local high school, which was University Laboratory High School in Urbana. After he graduated, he went to Harvard University in 1935, essentially to study law, but decided to study economics instead because he found it more interesting. Shortly after he received his degree, Tobin enlisted with the Navy during World War II. After he came back from the war, he began teaching at Yale University in 1950 for almost 40 years. In 1981, he received the Grand Nobel Prize for his analysis of financial markets and their relations to expenditure, decisions, employment, production, and prices as stated by the Library of Economics and Liberty. On March 11, 2002, James Tobin died in New Haven, Connecticut. James Tobin was a huge contributor to Keynesian economics in America. The most important work he did was on America's financial markets. He created theories to explain the effects financial markets had on people's consumption, along with their investment decisions. Uh, he created these theories to show and improve uh, the production of goods that produce other goods. The Great Depression influenced him to be an economist because he believed capitalist economies were the primary reasons why social and political crises occurred. So on a positive note, we can thank the Great Depression for influencing Tobin to be an economist. One thing he created was Tobin's Q, which was the concept of Q being the ratio between an asset's market value and its replacement costs. He created the idea that if uh, an asset's Q was less than the replacement's cost, then investments in similar assets were not profitable at all. Uh, Tobin also served on President Kennedy's Council of Economic Advisors from 1961 to 1962. His job for the president was to advise him of economic policy in the United States and to prepare the president's economic report. Something I remember learning from this past semester was Tobin's Q, which I learned generally meant that if the replacement cost was higher than the Q, no money was being made for similar assets, along with if Q exceeded the replacement cost of that specific asset, the investment spending and similar assets would need to occur. Uh, we also learned a lot about macroeconomics, and which ties into Tobin because he was a macroeconomist dealing with employment, inflation, how it moved up and down, and things like GDP, which is gross domestic product.